Today I'm going to replace the spigots on a couple of water containers and I'm also going to replace the gaskets on some Grolsch bottles. So we've had these ball liquid dispensers for several years and we really like them. We use them in the summertime for iced tea, sometimes for lemonade, but we've never been totally thrilled with these, uh, the spigots that were on them. And they tended to clog up with things like lemonade, for instance, uh, because we like to make homemade lemonade so you actually have pulp in it. But we were tolerant because they're still really cool. Uh, but this past fall they started to leak. So you'd have this cranked as tight as you could and everything else and you'd come back and the kombucha would have leaked all over the kitchen counter. So I spent a whole bunch of time on Amazon looking for replacements and I discovered that I could get really nice stainless steel ball valves that are super easy to operate, super easy to keep clean. You can actually look inside and see exactly how they work and they really weren't that expensive. Anywhere from five to fifteen dollars a piece depending on what you're doing. Um, I got a pack of two for I think eleven dollars in some weird sense and I'm a Prime member so no shipping. So um, I fixed one the other day and uh, put liquid above it for 24 hours to make sure that it wasn't leaking and it worked like a charm. So now it's time to change out the other one. And all they do when they build these is they put a nut on the inside and this on the outside. Now, this nut was stuck last time. I had a hard time getting it to open. And there were some slight chips around it, the hole, but uh, it seemed to be the way that it was made. There was no glass. Could you grab the pump pliers for me? Uh, we don't care about this spigot anyway. It's no good. No, it leaks. As Irene, said, Vegas. <laughs> as Irene said, it leaks. And not only does it leak, it's rough on your hands. Yeah. I have a dent in my finger, but that's about it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> the stage is yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, well, now that the nut is off... As I said, that's the little nut that was here. Here's the one that I took off of that one. And uh, it comes out pretty easily. This washer's on the inside and the outside. This thing sort of slides out. You can see how corroded it is. That's why it's stuck on there. Let me get this out. There. Now. I had to guess on my first one what the size was going to be, but I figured you know, we have enough things that need to be repaired around here that I could probably find it, something that would work. This seems to be the standard size, uh, I think it's uh, 11 sixteenths or 77 millimeters or something, anyway, 17 millimeters. Anyway, it comes. Just like this, you get the faucet part, you get a nice little stainless steel, and this is 100% stainless steel, it doesn't have anything but stainless steel in it, there's no plastic, there's nothing. Uh, stainless steel, washer, silicone, those go here, and that is as much, That's it's functional, but it's also to make it look nice, to have that stainless steel washer there. And then that goes in from the outside, like that. Now on the inside we have the same exact thing, another washer and a stainless steel washer. Because it's stainless steel you don't have to be concerned about it being in contact with acid foods or anything else. This is all food safe, guaranteed, no lead and all that other sort of thing so you don't have to worry about leaching. And then the washer goes on the inside. tighten it down, 
bit. Let's see. Last time I used a three quarter. This is a makes it easier. It's uh, I find it easier to spin the <laughs> the socket than to have it the nut digging into my fingers. And then what I did last time was put this in the dish drainer. This is just finger tight. They recommend not to get too carried away because these silicone washers will do a great job of sucking it tight to the glass. Crash. And then what I do is I put this like this and I leave it locked. See that's open and that's closed. And uh, I just leave it in the dish drainer with water up to a specific line somewhere on here. And if the water doesn't go down over night, then I know I've got a leak-proof seal and you can see that there's no drips anywhere without making a mess. And we really like these, so it made sense. Um, another thing we ran across this past week, and I got the, reply, the supplies from Amazon for that too, is we have these old Grosch bottles and uh, we like to use them for all kinds of things, but the washers on them, these bottles are probably 18 years old, is my guess. And these washers get to the point where they're just plain crunchy. They're old rubber washers. Um, and I went on Amazon, looked around. Uh, do read the reviews because one company that makes the replacement washers got terrible reviews. They said that the uh, washers smelled bad. Even when you cleaned them the way they were supposed to, they still tainted your brew, which is no fun. And we wanted to actually use these for um, kombucha uh, because you, these are like a growler. You don't have to worry about them exploding um, because if the bottle overpressures, then that little washer on there will um, release the pressure. So you don't have your bottles explode. If you put solid lids on it, sometimes that can happen. So that's how easy it is to replace those. These are lovely. No weird smell or anything. The, this particular company got very good reviews. Um, so I do read the reviews, but that's super simple. And these are silicone food safe grade stuff. So that should last, that should outlast us. We can have those out to the kids when we're done. <laughs> but yeah, two very simple solutions. Um, these came in packs of, this is a pack of 50. They also came in packs of like hundreds and one and two hundreds and five hundreds, but I figured fifty would be enough to keep us for a while. But people use these for all sorts of things, and we're happy, man. Those are those are awesome. Don't throw it away. Fix it. And the um, this is the one that I just took out that you helped me get off. You can see how it's corroded over time. That uh, that's why the washer wouldn't come off. Peeling off. Yuck. That was on the inside of the water dispenser. <laughs>